Welcome to the headquarters FAQ. These are the most common questions that I've gotten, either in comments or over email. If you don't have the templates and you're interested, then I have a full tour. I also have a full walkthrough to see each feature of the template in more detail. Both of these are linked in the description. This video will be divided into four sections. The first one being common questions about the template. Secondly, questions about productivity and the template. Thirdly, about the template setup. And lastly, if something is broken. The most common question, how do I install this template? Once purchased on Gumroad, you'll get to a page that has a link to the template. Once you click on this, you can now duplicate the template by clicking the button in the top right of the screen. This will now duplicate the template and bring it over into your account. This works similar to downloading a Word document. Now it is in your account and you could do whatever you want with that Word document. Once installed, can I change the template? Yes, once you've downloaded this, you can now make any changes that you want to it. Just like you would download a document, you can make any changes to that document and it's just on your end. So if you want to add a GIF, an image, whatever you want, you can of course do that. Does everything work with a free Notion account or do I need a pro account? I actually designed this entire template here to work with a free Notion account. You do not need a pro account. For my personal life, I do use the pro account and I find it really useful but you do not need a pro account to use any of the features in this template. Are all the things in the tutorial included or are they separate templates? On my channel, I do go through a lot of free small templates that I've made. Those templates are very much designed for people who are new to Notion, but all the features that you saw in the headquarters tour is included. This includes the notes feature, the resources feature, timetable, time tracking, and everything else. Does this template work on mobile? Yes, this template does work on mobile, but I've actually designed this page here, the mobile HQ, just to make things even easier for you when using your mobile. This layout here is just a lot simpler. You can add tasks, you can add notes, you can add resources, and your tasks are set up differently here. Instead, we have a gallery separated by the ones you haven't completed and the ones that are completed. And you can also see your projects as a gallery here, showing you just your uncompleted projects. This is just to make it load faster on the mobile and be easier to use. There's an article linked in the description where Notion walks through how to set up a widget on your phone for easy access to a page such as Mobile HQ. If I'm using a free Notion account, does my completed task get removed? So if we add a task in here, let's call it task one, and you tick this in, as you can see, it gets removed from here. However, this task isn't actually removed. You can obviously find it under all this week. And if I untick this, you can find it here. But if you do tick in this task, it is not actually gone from your account. I'm just using filters to hide that task. If we click on everything, for example, you can see that task sitting here. And let's say that we label this under the job bucket and we scroll down. If I click on the job page here, you can see task one sitting here as well. And if I click on all job tasks, again, you can see task one sitting here. So when you complete the task, you don't delete the task. I just use filters to show it in particular places and hide it in other places. Okay, let's talk about productivity. The most common question is how do I set up recurring tasks? There are actually five ways that you can do recurring tasks in Notion. And I have a full tutorial on how to do that, which is linked in the description. But I'll bring in a clip from that video to show you the most common way of doing recurring tasks in headquarters. So you need to go to your task list. So in here, this is my task list. This is my task list and this is my task list. They're all connected. It's the same database, just being viewed differently. So what we're going to do here is click on this down arrow here next to the new for your task list. So not your projects or anything else. And if you click on this down arrow here in headquarters, you can see a bunch of templates already. We have the habits, journal entries, stuff like that. We are just going to click on new template here so I can show you how this works. So I'll write run here. This here will be my recurring task and I'll add an icon as well, the running shoe. And if you're using headquarters, if you select habit here, it will automatically show up in your habit tracker every time you check in that you've completed the run. Now, remember, this here is a template. So anything you put in here, this will show up every single time this task is generated because we are editing a template. So once you're happy with it, you can click away. So now you'll find this template here. If you ever want to edit it, you can click on these three dots here and click on edit. But instead, what we are going to do here when you're ready to have it recurring, we'll click on the three dots and we'll click on repeat. So here you can see that it's off. And here we can say, do we want it to repeat every single day, every weekday, week, two weeks, month, three months, six months, or a year? Now, if you want a task to occur every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, for example, then you can actually click on week here. And then you can select here the days. So Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, we said. So here you're selecting the cadence and then you would click on save. And then on Tuesday, you'll have it generated and appear here. The next question is how do I track my time using Notion Calendar? So by default in headquarters, you can see this minutes here. 
This is where we do our time tracking, so I could write 120 minutes. So if I scroll down and I click on the time tracker, then I can see here job task one, 120 minutes, which is two hours. But if you want to do this using Notion calendar, then you can just use this code here. I'll also bring in a clip from another video on how to do that. The secret little button that a lot of people haven't clicked for some reason, but it's called open in calendar and it actually connects with your workspace. So if I do this, record video and I make sure it's in the right database, then look at that, it magically appears in here. Here is not only time blocking, but I'm also automatically time tracking. So what I'm going to do here is click on this or any of them, and I'm going to add a property. And what I'm going to do here is click on formula. And here I'm going to paste this formula here. You can find it in the description of this video. And then I'll click on save. And what it automatically does, as you can see, it says 150 here. It automatically takes this time to this time and converts it into minutes for me. So let's just have these three videos also showing up here under my day today. Let's just have them all under the bucket of, uh, let's just do career. So I'll scroll down, open up time tracking and open this up. And here you can see under career, my time tracking. So by default, it shows me the manual minutes and hours. So what I'm going to do here is click on these three dots, click on properties. And here I'm just going to say show Cal. And here I can see my time. So I'll drag this here to the side, do calculate, more options and sum. And I can see here how much time I've spent under the career bucket. What is the difference between importance and urgency? This part of the template here was inspired by the Eisenhower matrix. So we have important, not important, and we have urgent and not urgent. A question I've received a few times is what's the difference between importance and urgency? Urgency means that it's time sensitive. This means that it demands your immediate attention, meaning there's a deadline or a consequence if you don't get it done right now. The importance is more to do with if it's goal aligned. This here is wondering if it contributes to your long-term success, even if there's no deadline or consequences if you don't complete the task. Something that could be important but not urgent could be sending out resumes. You already have a job and you don't need to send out these resumes, but it is something that's important to you. Something that's urgent but not important could be your boss asking you to send a particular report. You know the report is meaningless, but your boss said that they need it right now, so it's urgent even though it's not important. How do I see my habits in the habit tracker? So for you to see your habits in your habit tracker, which is down here, what you need to do when you do a task is label it as a habit. So if we say run here, for example, and that's your habit, then what we'll do is change the urgency to habit. So once it's labeled here as habit under the urgency, then you will find it here in your habit tracker so I can see run here. For you to find it in the habits by bucket, you actually have to have completed that habit. So once I check in that I've actually gone for the run, then I can now find it under this habits by bucket, I can now see run here. But if it's not checked in, then it won't show up here. I've done this so you can plan out your habits here without seeing all your other tasks, but the habits will only show up in these tabs if you've actually done it, AKA you can actually track your habits. What should I do when first having downloaded the template? I have a full video which goes through what to do once downloaded, but in summary, I recommend first looking at your life buckets and ensuring you've added any other life buckets in here that you want to. After you've done that, I recommend adding any of your projects. Once you've done that, I recommend labeling the ones that have a deadline, the ones that are ongoing, and the ones that you want to have as your favorite. I have a goal for my product activity of having three projects to do with my work and two projects in my personal life, I found that that balance really helps me in staying focused and achieving my goals. After you've added your projects, then I recommend adding any tasks and labeling the relevant project and labeling the relevant life bucket. How do I delete everything quickly? Well, if you've downloaded headquarters and you have a bunch of tasks in here sitting in my day to day, etc., I'm going to show you the easiest way to delete all of your tasks. What we'll do is go over and click on the everything button. This will now show you every single task that you have in your headquarters template. You can now click on the first one, hold the shift button and click on the last one. This will now select every single task in your template. You can now click on the delete button. Bear in mind, this will delete it forever. The next question is, how do I remove this headquarters banner if I don't want it? Well, that's very easy. We can click on change cover here and then you can click on remove. You can also click here and remove the logo if you wish. The next question is which databases are there? I'm confused on how everything connects. Well, the way I designed this template was actually to use the least amount of databases possible. So this here, my day to day, your calendar and your task list, these are all the same database. Then we have your projects, which is a separate database. We have your workspaces, which is a separate database. And we have your life buckets, which is a separate database. Your task database, 
talks to your project database and your life buckets database. The workspace database isn't connected. I just created this database here to put in these different pages here. But by clicking on these pages, such as the time tracker, you will see the task database showing up here with different filters, groups, and other settings. The other notable databases is the resource database. This you can find here on the resources page. And we have the notes database, which you can find on this quick notes page, as well as showing up on the relevant project page in this section here, and on the relevant life bucket page on this section here. How do I add coworkers to this template? This template wasn't really designed for coworkers or for teams. I do, however, have a template called Colab, which I designed specifically for teams. It's designed in a very different way as a template designed for personal productivity and designed for team efficiency is very different. The next question is, how do I connect this to Publish OS? There's a link in the description to how to connect this to Publish OS. I've done a full tutorial on how these two templates can connect. Again, the template and the tutorial is linked in the description. The next question is, do I get updates? So the way Notion works, if I were to make any updates on my end, you wouldn't get any of those updates. You will get any updates by Notion. So if the software Notion make any updates, you will get them. But if I were to change something in my template, then you wouldn't automatically get that update. However, I don't have any updates planned in the near future, but I am working on some add-ons for this template, but those add-ons will be 100% free for existing users, and I'll make full videos about them on my channel once those add-ons are released. Those future add-ons, by the way, will sit here in the workspaces section. Two journals are appearing when I add a journal entry. So if you've created a journal entry and you're seeing two journals here, then you can simply delete it. But to ensure this doesn't happen again, then what you'll do is click on the down arrow here, click on journal entry and click on edit. Here you'll see the two journals and what you'll do is keep this one here with this icon and you'll delete this one here by clicking on the minus. That won't show up now in the future. So when you click on plus and you click on journal entry, as you can see, it just says this journal now. And the last question is, I deleted everything, what do I do? If you've accidentally deleted the whole template, then please email me and email me with the email that you used to purchase the template. I can then help you out. Again, if you've just downloaded headquarters and you want to see the full walkthrough, then click on this video here. I go into everything in a lot more detail. I hope this helped. Thanks for watching.